Welcome to Stogie Palace. I'm your host, Chris. Today I have the Diesel Unholy Cocktail. I did a V-cut on a torpedo. That is definitely different, but I've seen people do it, and uh, I got a good draw from it. Perfect draw. Nice flavors in there. It's rich and peppery. Just a little bit of musty barnyard uh, aroma on there. So, all that's on here is a little foot band. Entirely too difficult. So, there we go. So, let's get this thing fired up. Wow. I, somebody turned the... There we go. I thought somebody turned the wheel up here on this lighter. It's a blowtorch there. So, this is a 5x56 torpedo. Rated at full strength. I got it from my buddy Chicago Dave. Seen some sparks coming off of here as if it was laced in sparkler dust. Just a little. I've had it for over two months. These go for about $4.20 on Cigars International. <coughs> a lot of smoke right off the bat, really nice aroma. But also right off the bat, the uh, end of it is, is splitting apart. 23% humidity out here. Wrappers Pennsylvania Broadleaf Maduro. Not usually one I go to, but if it works for this, it works for me. Finer's Philip and Filler from Nicaragua, made in Nicaragua. The blend is from AJ Fernandez. I don't know if you can see that or not, but it's kind of coming apart in a hurry there. Mm. So the Cigars International says, a rare breed, this off-centered handmade, is the cigar equivalent of a thick, juicy porterhouse crafted with fillers from Nicaragua's black fertile soil. Diesel geographical terroir is evident with its luscious Pennsylvania broadleaf wrapper, bringing an indescribably satisfying element that yields a layered, spicy, sweet, intense smoke. Yep, spicy for sure. Hope the wrapper... Uh, it's a little better as it goes along because it it's looking pretty rough there at the end. Yep, lots of thick smoke. Hmm. Good flavor, rich, dark. It's a good start. And once again, I'm going to pair this with something. Show you what it is. If you're outside of Colorado and may or may not have heard of this stuff, it's called Tin Cup Whiskey from Colorado. Whiskey with an E in it. And here it is, just a little bit of water in there. Just like cigars smell like tobacco, this smells like whiskey. Mmm, mmm. Good. 42% alcohol by volume. I haven't had this in a while. Comes with a little tin cup. Anyway, good stuff. So, cigar though. There's the thunder rumbles overhead. Hopefully it performs well. It's looking pretty rough there though. It's kind of coming apart at the seams. But I like the uh, aroma, I like the flavor, I like the draw, I like the performance so far. This looks a little rough, but you know, looks aren't everything. So let's keep going, see how it goes. Well, it's an hour and a half in, pretty much done. Right, right there, the um, kind of hardened up and went out, so I had to do a little scrape and get it relit. It just wasn't ready to call it quits yet. But this is a pretty good cigar. Uh, let's see, let me go through, oops, shaky camera. So appearance, uh, yeah, just a little foot band, not a whole lot there, but the uh, wrapper is really nice looking, good job on that, no problems. Um, at first inch or so, yeah, the uh, wrapper was cracking, kind of coming apart, but it burned right through there, caught up, fixed itself, no problem. No relights, no touch-ups, except for right here towards the end, so it's almost over with. Burn and aroma was, was great. Yeah, it's nice. One thing I didn't do was a retro hail. 
Sometimes these stronger cigars I'm a little nervous about, so we'll see. Yeah, there's there's some power in that for sure. It's a little bit, a uh, little rough on the retro ale. Flavor, pretty nice. Uh, it, it's definitely got some flavor throughout. Um, no harshness though, no bitterness. Strength, I would say medium full to plus, almost full. Uh, so overall, I scored this a 96. You know what this reminds me a lot of is a Man of War Ruination, which is also a AJ Fernandez blend. I think it uses the same wrapper. I'll have to check on that, but either way, that's what it reminds me of. You can tell it's a dark, rich, a little bit powerful thing going on there. Some complexity. It's nice. It's definitely not bland by any stretch of my imagination. And um, for the price point, pretty good cigar. Well, well worth it. So thanks, Dave, for sending this along. First one I ever had. As usual, or usually, it's the first time I ever smoked one. So you get to see me uh, live trying it out. No preconceived notions. Although a lot of people are saying some good things about it. So that's the only preconceived notion I had. So once again, this has been the Diesel Unholy Cocktail. The 5x56 Torpedo. The V-Cut. It's holding together just fine. It's no problems there. Pretty good cigar. So this is Chris Stogie Palace. Thanks for watching. See you guys later.